no. I'm deeply concerned. Ding bong, ding dong. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency! Emergency! Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry! Uh-oh, is this time for another motive? Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow Ooh, night. curry rice? That sounds Come so on, good. hurry the F up! <laughs> Monokuma. Language! Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around, but there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again. All right, let's go. Look, you can see Mekon standing outside my window. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! She's actually there! Oh my god, no! I'm sorry, I'm such a slow poke. I'll head over to the park right away. But I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. I tripped again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again? She's seriously so pitiful. Oh my god, dude. I didn't think she would actually be right outside. <laughs> Monka S, dude. She's watching you sleep now, Hajime. Oh my god. I didn't ask for- Okay, I kind of asked for the end of your life. But I didn't expect it to happen so soon. <laughs> I didn't know she would be standing there menacingly. Well, not menacingly, but standing there. All right, what are we gonna get? I'm gonna save before you go in here. What you gonna give us, Monokuma? Check on the pet too. Oh, poop, flushy flush, happy snake. Happy snake. Oh, I'm gonna look at her uh, report card, see what the new page says. Her whole life, she's done everything she can to avoid getting beat up, including taking over debt and letting people throw darts at her. How did she end up like this? How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. No, no one's gonna die yet. <laughs> we got a few more scenes before someone's likely to die. Hey, an arcade machine. I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. Oh man, she probably booked it. She could have been like in the shower and she still would have been the first one here, like buck ass naked. She's like, where's my curry? She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? Hey, hey. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something idiotic. Faster. Hey, where the hell's Monokuma? Get out here. Look at that big TV, dude. We're gonna have a land party. Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Everyone's here. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I get dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special maid, Monokuma curry, tomorrow night. That's a death flag for her. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry. Made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know that I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understand? By four dark devas of destruction. If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys 
If you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? Are we going to be real gamers? What is this? Danganronpa Twilight Syndrome Forbidden Urban Legend. Ah, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. <laughs> That's correct. So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin! Don't tell me you're gonna tell us to play this game? Hey, what's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. I've only prepared one game, but it is truly a gem. D, has anyone else played the hidden gem known as Hollow Knight? It's very underrated, and I don't think anyone else has heard of it. Also, go play Hollow Knight. It's really good. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then, then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no. Don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. She you know that famous game that everyone's been wanting a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Oh man, I thought he made Skate 4 for a second. F famous game? I shall now present it. Twilight Syndrome Dad! Murder Case. The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Investigation Edition. What the heck? That's pretty lame. Half-Life 3. I want to play games Skate about 4. Professors are collecting cute monsters. Wait, she wants to play Professor Layton or Pokémon? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what generation a game that old is. You. With your face, I find that hard to believe. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Aww. Man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted it. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title. What's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? Well done. <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive. The motive you need to kill people! Oh god. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Oh god! Maybe? This game is the motive? Actually, In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a, a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, Ooh, what does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. hey, if that's the motive, wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? That's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure about this? Hey, Learning um, the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye-bye! What the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But... Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. 
Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But, but wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're watching? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would be their prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byakuya or Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That, that might be true, but... Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Oh, well, she's fucking dead. Killing. I will never. I'll never allow it. I will never, ever let another killing happen. Rest in peace, Chiaki. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good, Good night. night. It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'm trying to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But Regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. You should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You won't. Shit, I bumped my headset again. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... That's a cute yawn. Sleepy. I should go back too. Now that I've raised a bazillion death flags on myself, I can't read her at all. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? <sighs> There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. This is you don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Monokuma Theater. Man, being successful is tough. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I should go to the restaurant for now. I was about to say there's no music, oh god, oh fuck, but then it kicked in. As if by habit, I left my cottage, and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood. Forever and ever. Literally fucking permanently. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? 
Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to hey, do didn't with I you. tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Sh shut up! You. What makes you think you have any right to question me? Uh, I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you going to tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. That guy, he's going to be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. He's going to kill everyone, dude. Oh, it's Gundam. What up, brother? This too the wind the is, of causality. His lines are so long. The wind is very quiet. I do hope it is not an ominous portent. Man of long voice lines, but few words. Anyone else here? Oh. Peckle, 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 peckle. It appears. I did see Fuyuhiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to think about. I'm going to go for a little walk. Okay, enjoy the video game. Well? Apparently, Mikan has never played video games before. She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Now, I'm pretty sure Chiaki's right on that one. Please, listen to me. What? Chiaki taught me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And, and she even battled against me. <laughs> I'm so, so, so happy I was able to play with a friend. Thank you very much, Chiaki. You, think so? you don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun, too. Hey, hey. If you like, do you want to battle one more time? <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yes, please! Mikan looks extremely happy. I guess Chiaki has a sweet side, too. Well, now she's going to be outside Chiaki's house at night. I'm safe, for now. What's up, Mahiru? Mahiru! Ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's going to starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. Huh? What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice, so he wants toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey. Then you bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered I have a little video game to... I mean, a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mayuru pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Let's go. Find our hopeful-ish, parentheses, brethren. What's up, Hiyoko? Mm. That's Nagito's food, right? <laughs> you should feel honored that Mahiru asked you to bring him that, so you better feed him quickly. He says that like he's a pet. That's kind of harsh. Did my pet poop again? <gasps> Gotta take care of the damn thing. Nope, it's good. It's a happy little buddy. Do I have any presents? I'll give it this. Have some jerky. Sneaky snack. Nom. Yee, cozy snack. 
Man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Oh, what's with that tray? Are you going to eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey. Hey, don't tell me. You're not going to have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonya, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well, oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, want to switch with me? Hmm. Well, it's obviously a little awkward. I'll let you handle it, Hajime. He, he totally ran away. <laughs> Later. No, no, no. This old building is being renovated. You can't go inside. I'm not allowed inside. Why is Nagito inside? You know about it too, Hajime. Because um. Nekomaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Manomi's the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Starve? It's okay to go inside then? Y yes! Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. God, I hate Monomi, dude. Who designed- who thought she was a good idea? So, Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulped back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? And the fan artists go wild! Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy! As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat, eat your food! Uh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Well, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru, that must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. D don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime. Weren't you... planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! Rip. I can't believe he starved to death and Hajime is the killer. Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is. No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. Woohoo! More free time. Who do I have gifts for? I got more of the uh, headphones that Chiaki likes. Let's hang out with her. Where you at, girl? You play? You are playing them video games again? 
The answer is yes, by the way. Hey, girl. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? What is he talking? You don't program a hard drive. You construct it. You manufacture it. Yeah, sure. Let's take a break together. I spent time today relaxing with Chiaki. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah, here, have some more headphones. I know you like them. You can never have too many headphones. Yep. If you're giving this to me, I guess I'll accept it. Thanks. Yep, thanks. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Me too. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Not me too. That's not good. Wait, I gave the headphones to the wrong person? Oh, fuck! kill me. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, I think it worked, right? Like, she wasn't a big fan, but she liked them. Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. The more I think about it, the more this situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, Hachiyaki. Hmm, mm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? Either way, that's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. Blessed opinion. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer, I'd probably just give up on a game like that. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? I won't tell you. I see. Well, why bring it up then? D does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. I still got a hope fragment, even though I gave the headphones to the wrong person. Get dabbed on, haters. I parted ways and went back to my room. <laughs> 